What's spiritual intelligence and why is it so important for our journey? Will it help us to increase the awareness of our purpose in life? Spiritual intelligence is the only thing we need to feel the joy of life. It's the only reason we are sent here on earth for the development of this type of intelligence. This is the divine attribute that we are meant to approach, to understand, to master and finally use. This understanding cannot be forced in any way. Every flower has its rhythm of growth, set by God or the creator of this universe. This is the clear reason why sometimes people cannot understand. They are like a rose, slowly opening and getting used to the light that will otherwise burn them. Intelligence is of three types, material, emotional and spiritual. A material intelligent man can create an atomic bomb, can genetically manipulate plants, can create high class technologies, all of which are double edged weapons. Emotional intelligence is communication, positive emotions, choosing a state of well-being and social integration. After all, it's all about the art of understanding and reading the human psychic and using it to one's advantage. It's good and necessary for a human being, but limited and is not enough. What is spiritual intelligence? It's the ability to instinctively know and understand the right and unwritten and laws of the universe to understand what unseen forces, energies and informations are behind the events that take place in the material world, to understand the invisible mechanisms behind the process of materialization, to understand what personal choices will lead to mental, emotional and material well-being, and what choices will lead to disaster. What's the real connection between cause and effect? The cause is always unseen, mental and internal. The effect is always primarily material physical and seen, but in the end will have spiritual consequences that are often not correctly seen, because they are usually appearing later and may extend over a long period of time, sometimes even lives. Take it as a domino effect, the cause being aggression. There are two forces that influence the human being in this universe, love and aggressiveness. Here is an example for a better understanding. A person is considered mentally ill. We are talking about a conscious being with whom we can still communicate. Material intelligence says, give him pills and you have solved the problem. Emotional intelligence says, let's see what are the psychic causes of this state. We will talk about childhood, traumas, emotion and thoughts. The problem will be understood, at least apparently he will become calm and to a certain extent he will act differently, he will feel differently. Spiritual intelligence says, if this individual has become mentally unbalanced, it's because his soul has a karma, a life lesson that is meant to be learned. His spirit knows that it's essential to learn self-love, real self-acceptance and forgiveness for oneself and therefore for others. What's the source of aggressiveness? The aggression can be transmitted through biological genes, but also through the spiritual ones. This can affect their fate, their health and sometimes even their lives. But that aggression is exactly what he resonated with due to his past lives. Forgiveness is the key to aggressiveness. This is a lesson that is usually given to those who are not willingly aware of their own mistakes. It was essential to go to these situations, to give this person the perfect condition to learn and unlearn lessons, to change his perception of life his level of consciousness and therefore to evolve spiritually. We have free will. Don't forget, it starts at the level of inner choice. The knowledge is obtained only through one's choice. The universe has accelerated these movements, which leads to the balancing of the situation much faster. So both the aggressive and the lovers need to know that it is very possible to meet quite soon with the consequences of their choices. The entities attached to both groups will always ask for their price, their right by divine law. Your energy is their food. Choose your company wisely. Protect your spirit, because you are in a place where spirits get eaten. Be in the world, not of the world.